you what God does. So all we have to do, all we need to do today is just turn our self over to Him and let Him bring the answer. Praise the Lord because I know a God that can, I know a God that will, and I know a God you can depend on. Amen. Well, I've known him all his life. He went to school with my youngest son, and 51 years old. <clears throat> and he lived about two miles from me. And he's his mom said he thought he had nine lives. But you probably saw his picture on the channel. Well, I get it on 11. It's 25. Where he'd been missing since Sunday. Yeah. Hadn't had his medication. And my yeah. son said, Mama, I've seen him when he's done without his medication. One day, he's paralyzed from right here down. Yeah. But he's got an old Jeep and it's fixed where he drives it. But anyway, he's got a praying mother. And he'd been missing since Sunday. And they found him today. And the lady called me and she said, I put out a prayer line this morning that we had to find him today. And he was up above my son's house and next to an old pond. I don't know whether he was hung up or what. But he had got out and managed to get out of his Jeep and was just laying down. He, now this is a guy that is paralyzed, but I know God had a hand in finding him. I know my son at all. He's a corner, and he said, I've been waiting there all day. He said, I figured they'd about find him today, so many out looking. And said, uh, I'm just waiting for him to call me because I knew I'd get a call. But you know, God, come on the scene for that boy again, and I thank the Lord for it. Thank you. That's another one of the prayer requests that were called in yesterday. Praise the Lord and ask us to pray with them. Thank God for answering another prayer. Yes, amen. Praise the Lord. I, I want to tell you all something. Uh, the, the Lord, uh, you know, uh, Thessalonians said pray without ceasing. Now think about that. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God concerning you. I thank God for answered prayer. Another prayer has been has been answered. Praise the Lord. Everybody remember now to me make these announcements. Brother Paul Bumpus will be out at Morgan's funeral home from four to late tomorrow afternoon. And he will be, his funeral will be on Friday. And uh, that will be at 2 o'clock on Friday. So everybody remember that. Praise the Lord and try to be there and help Sister Marita. Praise God and uh, the family. Paul, Brother Paul has two daughters, wonderful daughters. And everybody that can be, can go, try to go. Let them know that we are a family and we love one another. I don't know anybody <laughs> in the world I'd rather have praying for me than you. I'm not talking just one or two. I'm talking about you. Every one of you. Praise the Lord. You know, we are coming down and we are in the last days. Anybody that ever read the Bible knows that we are in the last days. And uh, like Brother Mitchell was saying, just asked him about the last days, and he'll answer it. He'll be there <laughs> till they put him out, and then they bring him back to him. He's still there talking about it. But anyway, praise the Lord. I'm so proud of. I'm so proud of what God has done. Praise the Lord. I want to tell you all something. If you call me for prayer, you better be ready for me to pray. If you don't want me to pray, don't call me. Praise the Lord, because I'm going to pray. Now, before you get off that phone, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray there. Praise the Lord, and and uh, you're going to you're going to join in with me because we're going to pray. God ha God answers prayer, and and you know what what makes it so wonderful. If I need to call somebody to help me pray, I just pick up the phone and just dial whoever I want to, and they know how to pray. Amen. Glory to God. Ain't that wonderful? Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Listen to what the Bible said in Malachi, the fourth chapter. I'm going to begin reading at verse 1. This springs out a lot of things. Praise the Lord. But I want you to take this thought. And I'm going over into, into Peter. Uh, the uh, uh, It would be the third chapter, 10th verse. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, Peter, let me take you where you can turn. Second Peter third, 3 and 10. And I'm going to read some from there. But listen. Behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the poor, yea, and all that do wicked shall be stones. And the days that cometh shall burn them up. This is Malachi, last, last chapter in the Old Testament. Saying, The Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither roots nor branches. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wing, and ye shall go forth and grow up as a calf of the stall. Praise the Lord. And ye shall tread down, trot down the wicked. For they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Let's go to the second Peter. Praise the Lord. And let's, let's look at something there. In the 10th verse. And the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat and the earth also and the works that are therein that are therein shall be burnt up hallelujah in the 17th verse ye therefore beloved seeing ye know these things. Behold, be, be aware, lest you also be led away with an air of the wicked falling from your own steadfastness. But grow in the grace and in the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, you may be seated. We are coming down to the last stubble. And it will be burned up. All the wickedness. God is going to pour out His wrath. And whenever the fire begins, the elements are going to melt with a great fervent heat. And the works that are therein are going to be burned up. Now you want to you want to stay away from that fire. Amen. Hallelujah. Then there ain't but one way to stay away from that fire. And that's how, Brother Ed. I'll be fireproof of him. Hallelujah. Make you fireproof. You can be in secure in the hands of the Lord. By only to escape that fire, if I was in a burning building and someone come to me and said, Brother Walls, all you got to do is walk through that door right there and you're out of the way of the fire. You think I'd stand there and say, well, I don't believe that because somebody told me something different. Hallelujah. You think I would stand there and argue with you? You know what I'd do? I'd walk out that door. I'd look for a way of escape. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you something. I'm not telling you a lie. I'm telling you the truth. There is a way of escape. If you go to that fire, and the Bible said that hell...
hallelujah, is going to be a lake of fire. Uh, hallelujah, death and hell are going to be cast in that lake of fire. Praise God, but listen to what I'm saying. We can't escape that fire. Right. Hallelujah, because I, and I want y'all to know something. My father has a fire extinguisher that will take care of all that fire. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, but listen. What he said, but unto you that fear my name, Shall the Son of Righteousness rise with healing in his wings? And he shall go forth and get her up as a hallelujah and grow up and and, and grow up as, as a calf of a stall. Praise the Lord. And, I, and I, if you don't know anything about a calf, praise the Lord, you put one in there in a stall and you want to really get him fat just feed him every day give him water give him feed praise the lord and then i want to tell you something but there's one thing you better be careful what you do when you open that door praise the lord that dude that dude's got enough wild in him hallelujah when you open that door you know what he's going to do he's going to run that old top of you praise the lord and i want you to know something praise the lord the glory of god and the power of god them that grow up in the lord them that lay hold on eternal life them that believes that God is almighty and that God is everything and that God is powerful and all power is given unto him in heaven and in earth. I want you to know uh, that person will make it to the 